Welcome back to another video. Now, as you will probably notice from the scenery around me, there's no desert, I'm no longer in Dubai. I am now in Los Angeles. Now, I may make a video kind of explaining a few different things about that. Maybe I will, maybe I won't, I don't know. However, why I'm in Los Angeles, we're in Los Angeles to have a lot of fun. Now, today, um, I'm heading over to do a podcast. I was on the coaching call with a few of the Aura students yesterday, and I just said to everyone, I was like, look, is, is anyone in LA? Just moved here for a little bit. I don't really know anyone. So we're now basically heading over to see him. He's got a podcast, seems like a cool guy. I think it's him and his brother um, that do the podcast. They've been within the Aura program for a couple of months now. Where, where are we going, Chris? What's it called? Up to Upland. Upland. Okay, so we're going to Upland. If you're a California resident, you probably know where that is. I don't really have any idea. I'm just following the maps on my phone. It's about two hours away from Beverly Hills. So popped in the Range Rover, which we picked up yesterday, which is pretty, pretty, pretty smart. It's not quite the Lamborghinis we've got in Dubai, but I guess, you know, massive first world problems. And yeah, we're gonna go reach over there, do a little podcast, kind of see what he has to say. Obviously, it's really, really cool that he's in the program. He's got a very successful OnlyFans agency as well. I've been helping him with a couple of things on that. So yeah, really, really looking forward to it. And just a little side note for anyone watching this, maybe you grew up in the same kind of generation I did in terms of, you know, you go home from school, you play Grand Theft Auto 5 and things like that with your friends. You need to come to Los Angeles. I cannot explain how much I've enjoyed myself. It's literally like, I know everyone always says online, like, oh, I'm playing GTA in real life. You're not playing GTA in real life until you're actually like in the map, right? It's absolutely crazy. We just drove past May's Bank before, uh, Bank of America, uh, and yeah. I'm just living, living my, my kind of childhood dreams with it, to be fair. I'm really, really happy. So, yeah, let's see how the podcast goes. Going to be uh, gonna be meeting him very shortly. Probably grab some food or something on the way as well. I feel like this and what I'm doing right now, I'm basically being able to go anywhere in the world and always have someone that I know online, you know, be it a student or just someone that follows me, etc. That is the importance of building a personal brand. Obviously, that's why I'm um, you know, making some more of these videos and things like that. If you can travel somewhere and no matter where you are, you're always going to have friends. You're always going to have people to you know, hang out with and do, do some fun stuff with. Literally, even Chris, who's uh, holding the camera right now, now he's been with me for the past few days. He literally just uh, just messaged me off Twitter. If you follow me on yes, Twitter, sir. like some of the uh, like some of the stupid shit that I post over there. My Twitter's at Harry Paul Davis. If you want to follow it, it's not for the faint-hearted. So follow me on there. Thought I was cool. Obviously saw that I was coming to LA. Shot a shot, and now. Here we are, we've got some really, really crazy plans coming up. We're getting UFC tickets, we're gonna go to Vegas. It's gonna it's gonna be a movie, but honestly, just get to LA. I've ne never been happier. It's, uh, it's, it's a crazy place. Just around the corner now, I'm gonna go and head in. California traffic was apparently, apparently it's always this bad. It was pretty, pretty terrible, but we made it a couple of hours later. Filmed a few nice little videos on the way as well. I feel like that's that's the really, really great thing actually about driving a car this big, once again, as, as, as opposed to supercars and things like that, is you can actually just film film YouTube videos and stuff. Filmed a YouTube video a moment ago, because it's just, it's comfortable. There's an ice cream truck, so, you know, it's only right. Come on, let's go. Hey, what ice cream would you like? Um, what the fuck is going on? I would say one of, the, one of the blue bunnies, you can never go wrong with one of them. Yeah. Yeah. Like two blue bunnies, please. Fuck yeah, here he is. <laughs> We've also arrived, by the way. Do you want ice cream? Uh, I just ate right now. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Oh, you good? Good, good. Hell good yeah. stuff, yeah. You just got this bad boy? Yeah, I yesterday. I was just saying the other day. We were literally on a Zoom call. Like, it was yesterday. Uh, it was. Yeah, yesterday. Yeah, it was yesterday. Yesterday, yeah. yesterday. So he's in Aura. Uh, we were on a Zoom call yesterday. Mm. Obviously, I asked if anyone was in LA. Now I'm on his podcast. Yeah, oh, there, there it is. Let's do it, man. Thanks, <laughs> How's Beverly Hills so far? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Beverly Hills, best place to be. What's my partner for the agency? Oh, shit. That's me, man. How are you? Yeah, camera guy. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, we have the house set up for now, and then we're planning on doing um, like a little studio thing. Yeah. So that we could have like everything set up desk. A little bit, um, man. All right, sweet. That's Charles. Charles? Hello, Charles. Like Charles. You want a little thing? LA tradition. Come on. <laughs> My first, how do I pronounce it? Elote. 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 My first elote. <laughs> there we go. Elote. I need you to try this. Yeah, go on. He is for me. Yes. Mix it up a little Mix it up, yeah? Yeah. Bang it. Let's get the review. Let's get the authentic review right there. Mmm. You like it? That works, yeah. That's nice, yeah? Yeah. Stop. Gracias. Gracias. Never had anything like that. Oh, it's good. The play areas, I guess you could say? Yeah. Because then there's people like me fucking running outside and then fucking trying to. Because where I live, they do the same thing. There's at least like four of them that walk down. Yeah. So I'll come outside, flag them down. I'll get fucking that. I'll get uh, fucking snow cone, everything. Love it, bro.
So anyway, as I mentioned earlier in the video, this literally came about a day ago. You were yeah. on one of the coaching calls and you invited me on the podcast. Here we are. We're going to go hit up LA. Yeah. But yeah, just wanted to kind of get your guys' opinion on how Aura's helped you, where you're kind of up to with your agency and what your plans are for the future as well. I mean, honestly, yeah. like when we we're doing it by ourselves, it was tough. Like we had no no like strategy of like okay like how can we get this how can we get that and then once i joined aura it just opened up everything i mean it's we were like watching the youtube videos before. yeah we're watching marcus youtube videos a we lot we're learning yeah, we're yeah, like yeah. we need the, we need yeah. to take the step into, and we, into the company we saved up put down put it down whatever needed to be put down to help out and you know it's a lot of people think it's a handout you know a lot of people are like okay let me hold your hand and let yeah, me do yeah, it for yeah, you it's yeah. not it's not nothing like that and the thing is like they will help you every step of the way it's gonna they're gonna help you every step of the way you need something, they're going to call you, they're going to ask you the check up. I mean, I've gotten like 40 messages saying like, hey, do you need help with this? Do you need help with that? Yeah. You know, coaching calls, coaching calls are crucial. I mean, look, that's, here how, we are. <laughs> that's how me and him, you know, became obviously like a really good friendship building with us three. And it's like, get on those coaching calls. Like, don't be lazy. You know, the thing is like, you could get so much gain from those. It could just calls. be one thing that you hear on the coaching calls that just changes the way that you view everything. It's just exactly. One, one idea is all you need. Yeah. And exactly. Then a lot of people like, they don't kind of, they're kind of like scared to ask questions and then in those coaching calls, like you can just listen and that's just really cool about it. And then they help out a lot and it's just been a gateway and a lot of doors have opened up since I've worked. You know, I mean, from all this to sum it up, invest in yourself. Mm -hmm. And the best way to invest in yourself is to invest in people who have been doing it that are where you want to be. That's exactly. key. These people, and everyone is there as well. Because bear in mind, there's like 600, 700 guys in there at the moment yeah. who are all doing the same thing. So exactly. you, you can all help each other because everyone's at different levels. Yeah. It's, it's not about like, oh yeah, let me let me gatekeep. No, like you ask a question, you're gonna get six DMs. They're gonna tell you each how to do it, where to do it. They're gonna be like, here, here's my connect for it. Like it's really like kind of like you know family in there, and I really like it. Yeah, like, like, yeah, yeah. Appreciate it. Man. Appreciate Thank you so much, man. And you. Thank you for coming, bro. So just finished up the podcast there and I think that is testament to how important it is to have a network of people that do do like-minded stuff. You know, if you've got a group of people, this is the kind of thing that happens. You make new friends, new connections, and yeah, life is just generally gets better. But yeah, so we finished the podcast now. I'm heading back to LA. I've got a quite an important meeting. I'm gonna be grabbing some food and stuff. So we'll probably tie off the vlog here. Now I'm gonna leave all the links and everything to the podcast that I just did in the description. Super, super cool guys. And I'm so, so pleased that they're enjoying the Aura program as well. So yeah, it feels good, man. It's been another great day and I'll uh, catch all of you guys in the next one. Peace.